Boxing footwork drills for beginners. We all had to start somewhere. In this video, I'm gonna show you two awesome drills where Coach Wayne and Josh run you through the perfect way to kick off your boxing footwork. Footwork is one of the drills that is least done, I think, in most gyms. If you have a good fighter, you watch a good fighter on TV, you're going to notice the basic skills they have are very good. And one of them is they have really good footwork. And if you want to have a champion down the road with a really good fighter, with one of your really good fighters, he's going to have to have good footwork. All right, when we're understanding and starting off with footwork drills, we have to have a basic concept and a grounded version of foot stance, your basic boxing stance. So Josh, stand here a second and assume your stance. Now, when you're doing a footwork drill, sometimes it might be easier not to complicate it, worrying about what's going on with your arms. It's the position of your hips, shoulders, and feet that are more important. So Josh, even right now, you can relax, put your arms down, so we're not thinking about too many things. Now, bring your stance a little bit closer together. Okay, now that's not a bad stance to start off with the footwork. Then you just do a basic, take a step to your right, move your right foot first, fall with your left. Take a step to your left, left foot. So you, get, you practice that repeatedly, become confident. Then take a step back, a step in. All right, so when we practice this drill, we step, so go in, out, so now go in, out, and then to your right. Then, so now in, out, and then to your left, okay? And then you practice this drill repeatedly. You, have, you, see, you want to be confident with this. You want to stay relaxed and no pressure at all because the pressure comes when actually someone's trying to punch you in the face. So we want to, you want to be very familiar with this and confident and execute this flawlessly because there's no pressure. When practicing this drill, it's very important that you have yourself in a visualization where you're in a competitive situation. So you want to have your arms, eyes in a position that you're able to focus on your opponent. And this exercise is very good to be doing in front of the mirror. So you can actually see the mistakes that you're making. If you are making mistakes, then you'll be able to correct them very easily by observing yourself in the mirror. When, you, when you're coaching this drill, you want to watch the fighter as a whole because you want to make sure his shoulders, his hips, his legs are in position, and then watch his feet. So you, want to, you don't want to be too close to him. You, give him to, uh, you can make it easier for him when you give him the demonstration to tell him exactly what to do. So come in, out, move to your right. Then give ground, go back to your left. Slide around, then come forward. Then go back and move to the right, and then to your left. Practice that drill with the coach, give him those those directions is very helpful to the fighter. As your boxer becomes familiar, comfortable, and competent with these in and out moves and side to side, you increase the intensity of the movement a little bit faster, but also they're able to use feints with their feet. They step in, step out very quickly to lure their opponent into making a bad judgment and making a mistake. Once they're doing that, they move around, they make a feint and change directions. They, they make a motion that they may go one direction, but then go the other direction. It's very effective when boxing. Footwork is only important as if you're able to utilize it. If your footwork's not good, then it doesn't matter how good your combinations are, because you're never gonna be in range to hit your opponent, and you'll always be in their range to get hit. As you become comfortable, again, with your stance, your basic footwork, then your lateral movement with feints. You want to be very comfortable with that. Then you throw in combinations of punches and then keep them controllable. You want to set your boxer up for success. You don't want to have them do something that's too complicated that they're going to fail. You want to make your fighter confident. It's not important. I see too many coaches that coach athletes to show them they know everything by belittling their athlete, by telling them they got things wrong right away. That they want to be put in a position where they're going to succeed, they'll build their confidence up, and then they'll have a much better fighter. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to have your boxer in his stance comfortably, where he's confident that he's able to execute that. Then you just have basic steps. Step in, step out. 
And always use the foot that is in the direction you're going. Move that first. So step back again, Josh. Step in. Step back. Now step to your right. Step to your left. Then you want to move into faster movement where it is less deliberate. So it's more comfortable. So you want to be in and out. Then move to your right. Move to your left. Become comfortable with that. Then you want to throw a few feints in. So you want to move in. Out, side to side feints, very good, very good. You see how it is? We all have to start somewhere. Josh, amazing work. Coach Wayne, once again, bringing the education. What you wanna do now is you wanna utilize this every time you're in the gym when you're working workouts. Think about these important points. Don't overthink it. It does not be perfect, as Coach Wayne says. It just has to be effective. Try this today, implement it, and I'll see you, maybe intermediate boxers, for the next video.